Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. As I told in my last lecture that poor tray efficiency is caused by any one of two factors. They are flooding and weeping. In this lecture, I will discuss about flooding, causes of flooding and jet flooding. Let us consider a part of distillation column. So this is the liquid flooding is an abnormal condition of excessive accumulation of liquid and rise in pressure drop across the tray the causes of flooding are down comma backup and down comma clearance coming to down comma backup the fluid on the tray is foam that is mixture of vapor and liquid so the function of tray is to mix the vapor and liquid together to form a foam when it overflows from the wear the foam separate back into liquid and vapor in a down comma if the foam cannot drain quickly from down comma onto tray below then foamy liquid will back up onto the tray above causes flooding so a down comma backup can be reduced by increasing the tray spacing and decreasing outlet wear height the other cause of flooding is down comma clearance referring to figure 1 down comma 2 is flooded the cause is loss of down comma seal that is height of wear is below the bottom edge of down comma this lack of seal allows the vapor to flow up in down comma the vapor pushes liquid up onto the tray above which causes flooding on the other hand referring to figure 2 the bottom edge of down comma is too close to tray below just observe the two figures one with too far from the tray below and the other with too close to tray below now coming back to this figure the high pressure drop is needed for the liquid to escape from the down comma to onto tray deck so due to this the above tray gets flooded this process continue until all tray decks and down comma above down comma 2 are flooded so the down comma clearance should not be too great or too small so coming to prevention to guarantee a proper down comma seal the bottom edge of down comma should be above 0.5 inch below the top edge of outlet wear as i told when flooding starts on a tray all the trays above that point will also flood and trays below that point will go dry an early indication of flooding in distillation column is loss of liquid in the bottom of the column and the pressure drop in the column increases as i explained earlier so coming to jet flood has a discussed about foam that is a mixture of vapor and liquid so in addition to foam there is a quantity of spray that is entrant liquid present in the down comma and tray deck so the presence of spray is due to the flow of vapor through the tower the spray height of entrant liquid is a function of two factors foam height on the tray and vapor velocity through a tray and these two factors are also interdependent that i will discuss now when the vapor flow rate through a tray increases the height of foam in down comma draining the tray will also increase because of high vapor velocity more vapor is entrapped in the foam so it requires more residence time to separate and in turn increases the height of foam in down comma but the height of foam in the tray will not be affected until the down comma is filled with foam so once the down comma is filled with foam 
then further increase in vapor flow causes an increase in foam height of tray deck which increases spray height high vapor velocity combined with high foam levels will cause the spray height to hit the under side of tray above which results in mixing of liquid that is present in lower tray with the liquid on the upper tray this back mixing of liquid reduces the separation thus reducing tray efficiency of distillation tower when spray height from tray below hits the tray above this is called incipient flood point or initiation of jet flooding now i will discuss what is the importance of incipient flood and how do we observe the incipient flooding point in a distillation tower let us look at this figure which is a binary distillation column isobutane butane feed is sent through the column has feed so the vapors that come from the distillation column are cooled by the condenser and it is collected at the reflex drum a part of liquid from the reflex drum is sent as reflex to the distillation column and the remaining part is taken as overhead product at the bottom of the column reboiler is used to heat the liquid that is present at the bottom steam is used to heat the liquid and the liquid that vaporizes is sent through the bottom tray and the remaining product is collected as bottom product here the lighter component is isobutane and the heavier component is butane because the boiling point of butane is more than isobutane suppose if i increase the reflex then more liquid flows through the top tray which decreases the temperature of top tray and due to this the heavier component that is butane in the overhead product decreases due to decrease in top tray temperature the temperature in each tray starts to decrease so has to restore the bottom temperature to its set point the reboiler duty is increased which increases the vapor velocity through a tray as i discussed earlier increase in vapor velocity causes increase in spray height so when the spray height from the lower tray hits the upper tray the butane rich component will contaminate with isobutane on the upper tray with some butane which reduces separation so when further increase in reflex rate acts to increase the butane content in the overhead product rather than decrease due to increase in vapor velocity so this is the graph that we get with change in reflex rate as the reflex rate is increased the heavy component in the overhead decreases and then increases once it reaches point a the increase is because of back mixing so point a is called incipient flood at this point the reflex rate is called optimum reflex rate for a distillation column incipient flood point is considered as best efficiency point so this is the detailed explanation of flooding and its occurrence now let's do one problem a binary mixture is sent as feed to the distillation column lighter component is collected at the top and the heavier component is collected at the bottom when the operator increases the reflex rate the heavier component in the overhead increases so what is the problem in the column for increase in percentage of heavier component in overhead product so these are the details regarding the distillation column so understand the problem by recalling the concepts that i have explained in this lecture 
and the solution for this problem will be explained at the end of my next video thanks for watching my video and post your views or doubts in the comment section